You really want to change the health outcome of a nation. The healthcare system is nothing more than a bit player. If the major causes of disease are non-medical and non-biologic, then you have to address those. If it is violence in the streets, if it's disparities due to poverty, to prejudice in society, doctors should be seeing patients without prejudice. Yeah, great blood pressure. I wanted to work in a third world country. That's what, that was my dream. N not realizing that the third world country existed in my own city. And follow the example of what my father had done when we were growing up. Back then, I believed the rest of homelessness was a temporary problem, one that could be hit on, patched up, and taken care of within a short time. Years later, a new, handsome, three-story building named for my sister, Chichi, stands at the edge of I-95. It stands, however, not as a monument to our progress as a society. It stands as a monument to our shortcomings. We've learned to use limited resources and yet try to provide effective care from day one. Everybody gets care, irrespective of their underlying condition. Everybody gets care irrespective of their ability to pay. How many doctors we know that take his time out with somebody who's, what they call it, indigent, don't have anything, and you walk by? I appreciate this. I look at life very simply. The things we were taught when we were younger that set the basis for our morality and our ethics, caring for your fellow human being tops the list. Is it acceptable when an insurance company refuses somebody for a pre-existing condition? I hope they're enjoying all the money they're making. Patients will come to me for anything from a screening colonoscopy to advanced liver disease to patients that are infected with hepatitis C or that go infected with patients with HIV and hepatitis C. I'm going to inject some saline up and up or under it because the walls are very thin here. In my profession, I get paid for doing the most. Nobody's measuring what I do, whether it's good or not. And we need to do that because we're talking about people's health and people's lives. One of the things that we do do here in the office is our patients that are fully insured, we also let them know that if, God forbid, something happens and they lose their insurance, they're always patients here. We take care of people. We don't take care of insurance. Yeah, you did a good job. I still don't have any idea why I was uh, chosen to receive the Medal of Freedom. Starting those clinics wasn't something new. I mean, we've been doing that forever in the world. It's just doing what the oath says to do. We as a nation have to come together and believe what is the just thing to do.